What's going on guys, it's Sam, and today I'm going to show you guys how to remove color out of a video. In this video, I'm going to show you two quick ways to isolate any color in a video using secondary color and the leave color effect. This video will also get us a step closer to making videos like this, this, and this. That good. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started on this effect. Um, so what we want to do is take our clip that we have here in the sequence, which is just a nice shot of red berries in uh, Washington, and what I want to do is I want to isolate the, the red of the berries. So just that red color. I want to get rid of all the greens, all the shades of green, um, the white will blend in. Uh, because you know it's snow so it's it's a part of the black and white scheme so um, I just want to keep the red so let's go ahead and use this um, super awesome effect the Premiere Pro has built in um, and it's called leave color so let's go ahead and search it up in effects so type in leave color here it is right under color correction go ahead and drag that onto our clip and then hop right into effect controls and then we'll see it there leave color okay so what we want to do is first select the color that we want to leave. So let's go ahead and click the little eyedropper tool, drag it over and select the red that we want. So we got some light reds and some dark reds. I'll, I'll go ahead and do a dark red, so let's see. Click on that. Okay, so that's set the color, but it didn't do anything yet because we have to select, select the amount to decolor. So let's go ahead and boost that all the way up to 100. So everything goes black and white except for the red. Let's go boost that. Okay, so it's working, but it's not working exactly how we want it to work. Because it's got, you can still see like there's some black and white along the berries. Like if I zoom in here, yeah, you can see there's like still some black and white around it. Everything else is out, but um, we want to make it like, like it's real. So. Um, in order to do that, we're going to, um, instead of doing, uh, using RGB for match colors, we're going to use the hue. Because if we use RGB, it's more for like a specific like hex code that you select, and then it'll like match that hex code with the 15% the tolerance that it says right here. Um, and it'll like stay within 15% of that hex code and then take out, or, and then leave that red. But we want to use like the whole hue of red, so it gives it like a more wider range. So let's do using hue. So see if we can tell that changed it a little bit. And there's some red coming out of the branches too, because you know they weren't just green, they had some red in there too. So let's go ahead and see if we can refine this a little more um, by using edge softness and tolerance. So with tolerance, if we start playing with it, so I'm gonna click it here and start boosting it. So if I start boosting it, it'll bring the colors back, right? So if I go 70, 60, 50, start playing around. See if I can get rid of the red in the branches without getting rid of the berries. Okay. So it seems if I try to get rid of the red out of the branches, then it comes out of the berries too. Um, which is kind of a, kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna put the tolerance where I want it for the berries. So should max out like right about there, at like 11. Okay. So right now we don't want the red in the branches. We want to get rid of it. So the best way to do that, especially on a little clip like this, is to cut it out essentially. So let's go ahead and hold Alt and then click our clip and pull it up so it duplicates. So we have two video layers now. Um, and what I want to do is essentially cut around the berries so that with masks so that they are the only things that are receiving color. Um, so let's go ahead and take the top clip and then select opacity. I'm going to do just the regular mask, so like a rectangle mask here. And I'm going to basically select the area where it's essentially like moving around. So what I can do here is I can track the movement of the red. So let's go ahead and put our mask here and then use the mask path tracking tools. And let's go ahead and just track it forward. So see now the mask is following the red berries and it's gonna keep following it throughout the whole clip. Right now, Premiere is just doing all the tracking for us, which is perfect. It's so much quicker than just having to manually move and keyframe a mask. 
So the reason why we want to do this is because this is the only portion throughout the entire clip we want to see the color. So right now we can still see the color on the branches and that's because um, there's, there's two clips going on here. So I'll show you in a second once this is finished. And okay, so this is tracked and now let's say we turn off the clip beneath, bam. So this is, this is all we want to be read in this area, right? So that's, that was the, the mask. You can see it's moving. That's what it tracked for us. Okay, so now we can show our background. And what we can do is we can change the tolerance so that it is absolutely zero. So now it's basically all unsaturated. So now when we watch the clip, dun, 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 it's just red. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there you have it. So that's essentially um, how to isolate a color in inside of one clip. So what we can additionally do is we can make the color even more vibrant. So let's go ahead and let's, let's grab the same clip, drag, drag it back in, just like this. Okay, so we got a regular clip back. So I just I just want to boost the reds. Um, in, in this clip. That's all I want to do, just the reds. The greens can stay, it's fine, it looks nice, but I want the reds to pop more. So let's go ahead and um, under Lumetri presets, let's go ahead and select Cinespace 25. It doesn't really matter which one we select because we want something else out of the Lumetri effect. So instead of under creative, instead of having the active LUT, let's go ahead and minimize that. And so under Lumetri Color, let's go ahead and click on Curves. We're going to minimize RGB curves and check out the huge saturation curve. So this is basically you can select points and then boost certain colors on this curve. So let's go ahead and select around the red. Let's make that point there, that point there, and then the middle point that we can start dragging. So let's start boosting it. Oh yeah. This <laughs> is definitely adding a lot of red to the berries over there. Um, so let's see what we would be comfortable with. It's yeah. yeah. very nice. Okay, so we can boost the reds. Let's see. Let's just add it to the the previous clip. Let's see if we can boost the reds even more on this. Let's paste it in. Yeah. So the reds are even boosted now. So now it's super red in this black and white clip. So. There's a lot of freedom that um, you have when it comes to isolating colors and making colors more vibrant. Um, and we can even, uh, you know, we can do the greens too. We can just, we can delete these by holding control and clicking and then select around the greens. And then let's boost, you know, the colors of the leaves. And so now the leaves are super saturated. Um, but yeah, so this hue saturation curves right underneath uh, curves in Lumetri Color is so um, valuable to um, making your videos pop. Alright guys, so that's basically it. Um, using leaf color and the curves um, will really help isolate any color that you want in your videos. And um, let me know if you have any further questions. Uh, just leave them down in the comments below. And if you want to see tutorials on any of the other examples that I showed in here, um, I can very well go through that. Uh, it involves some layers and um, some like key framing with when to have the effects come on screen and stuff like that. Um, so just let me know in the comments if you're curious. Um, other than that, I look forward to um, seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks.